Jackson. Hello everybody, welcome to the Geek Heads podcast where we talk about everything film industry related because this is the way. You know what else is the way? Tell me. Mandalorian and the new season two trailer just, just dropped out and I that was very cheesy. I'm so sorry, but yeah, let's go with it. Let's, <laughs> let's go, go with it. Let's okay, let's go with it. So today we are talking about Mandalorian season two. Yes, season two, the trailer, what we saw, what we think we we're gonna see in the season, where the season one left off, and um, all that. Yeah. yeah. So we just start with um, where the season one left the thoughts off. Thoughts of the first season. Yeah. What you thought about the first season and the and the ending of the first season? Yeah, first season of Mandalorian. What I thought about was first when I saw the trailer as well. Like, okay, space western. I was like, uh, not so excited. And then then the show started and the first episode. And then I hit the, hear the music when I was, uh, of course, the like theatrical John Williams style music, what I was used yeah. to on Star Wars. And then there's the uh, Ludwig's some style. <laughs> Uh, random is so so different yeah it was i was like oh no oh no oh no but after episode number two i was like ah oh, i love this so much yeah the whole season was so good like you i can i can just say it's so it's so good yeah me myself i already was excited before it uh before the whole thing started because uh, I just like westerns, and I thought the idea of having like a bounty hunter western style Star Wars series was awesome idea, and um, I was hyped before the first trailer to the season one, and I remember when we saw the first episode, and and the whole season one, I gotta say it did it did live up to my expectations, and a whole lot of more. I was super. Super excited! It was one of the best Star Wars related things that I've seen in a long time. Yeah, totally. Especially when I'm not myself. I am not a sequel f- fan. I don't consider myself a hater e- either. But um, I wasn't a fan of those movies. So Mandalorian is something that I can get into. Yeah, it was good to see some content that was a yeah mega ultra controversial. Uh, out of the gate the cliffhanger was good leaving leaving Moff Gideon with the dark saber which yes is, is that, a, that's raised up a lot of questions how he got it and um yeah especially knowing watch watched Clone Wars multiple times and Rebels multiple times it's yeah know the history basically pretty well already but it's like how it ends up on him and yeah totally it, what we're gonna see that's one of the biggest questions. Yeah. One of the biggest questions for sure. And um, also, I just in general, I want to see more Mandalorians. And uh, where I think we are heading is more of Mandalorians and more more of this uh, Jedi and, and, and their rivalry and uh, the history between Mandalorians and uh, Jedis. Yeah. And that's what I want to see. And that's what I think we are going to see, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit sad on the first season that they... Or what it shows that they might have killed off the whole Mandalorian clan on the planet, on the main premises of the... Yeah, that might be the case. Hopefully uh, not. Yeah, and I was so sad because, like, oh, they really did just kill off. They're like, oh, yeah, Mandalore is on the episode, is it five or something? And then they, like, kill them off. Like, oh, they all died. Yeah. It's just like... Yeah, 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 yeah. All the Mandalorians just died for 200 stormtroopers. Totally. Yeah. Some holes that I hope to see getting filled on the next season. And I think that's a good segue for season number two. Yes, let's go to the trailer. Um, yeah, what, what do you thought what about it? Th- yeah. My thoughts. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, your thoughts first, I, I believe. Okay, well, um, well, I need to get my... my. Oh, you should have notes ready? Okay. No, of course I did not. Uh, yeah. That's me. Well, well prepared professional podcast. <laughs> Don't have notes ready. Yeah, of course. The best podcasters do not have their notes ready when it's needed. Yeah, they go pick them up mid mid podcast. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do. Um, it. but yeah, the first thing that I noticed and what was the feeling that that I got from the trailer was that it had much more like this original Star Wars feel with all the X wings and Tie Fighters and talking. about talking about Jedi's and all that, it had much more like 
closer feeling to Star Wars and the original trilogy, for example. Yeah. I like it. I hope we're gonna get more, because the first season was so its own thing, uh, which was good. Yeah. Nothing to complain about that, but but I think it's time for them to have like a bigger picture and um, have a bigger storyline going with all these other things, not just be this this bounty hunter thing but sure, yeah yeah larger scale yeah yeah adventure yeah that's the vibe i got also it's not like this one two planet uh small thing about this small group it seems they're going now yeah M- much wider open to the galaxy yeah and it looks like it looks like they're expanding the rivalry between say i am and more and go through the history um uh, a lot of people do not know the history very well. I mean, I have watched Clone Wars and Rebels, and I still yeah, don't know even everything. Yeah, history, yeah. Yeah, I still, still have a lot of questions that I hope to be answered in this season and in the future seasons. Yeah. Also, I, I thought that Baby Yoda has grown up a little bit based on like how he acted. For example, in the bar fight scene, they were like, okay, now it's going to be problems. I'm, I'm going to just shut my little... Yeah, and pod. yeah, pod just hides. Yeah, and wait it. here. I'm. Not, I know what what's going to happen <laughs> now. Yeah, not the first time. So I think it's not gonna. I don't know. It just felt like he's a little bit more grown up and knows knows about stuff more. I might be wrong, but that's what I got from the trailer. Yeah, it, it's it's nice to see on the trailer that the uh, planets we're gonna visit this season. There's more planets we're gonna visit than the uh, rock planet. Which the bounty hunter thing is, I forgot the planet's name and Tatooine. That's like what the first season had, and the one forest place. Yeah, I yeah. totally did notes for this. Yeah, mm. <laughs> look, it looks like we're gonna have like Moncala with the water scene on the. Yeah, that might be the case. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, with the crabhead people. That would be really cool. Yeah. And then, then, then there's a. I have seen many speculations about uh, Ilum. Yeah. Uh, which is the planet on like Clone Wars or the Jedi era where they go find the uh, Kyber crystals? Chris- fuck! Uh, my English got the ho- holy the Kyber crystals. Yeah. Oh, how, crystals. how hard is it to say? Chris- crystals. Cri- crystals. Uh, Chris- oh my god! It's holy. a tongue twister. No. Okay, it's a tongue, yeah, it's not a tongue quizzer. <laughs> okay, no, no. Okay, no, yeah. I'm just like, maybe I'm yeah. gonna get over yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know about the planet so much. I gotta say, I, I don't know, know know the different planets as well as you do. But definitely, we saw a lot more different planets, what we haven't seen in Mandalorian yet, which is always great. I, I love when they go to different places and it's not just in one planet. Yeah. But that's all I got to say about the planets. Yeah, the, total the plot is gonna be just tracking down Jedi's and yeah, me continuing on the Illum. Illum, it's the I'm talking about the snow planet on the trailer. Yeah, yeah, and you probably remember from Clone Wars on the arc where uh, Ahsoka went with the younglings. I do, I do remember to get the yeah, to get the yeah crystals and uh, there was the temple. Yeah. Yeah, uh, nobody loves the sequels, but the same planet uh, turns into a star killer base. Okay, it's the same planet. It's the same planet. Yeah, I didn't they even just, know they that. Just, yeah. they, they, uh, the Empire That's starts cool. to mine it for Death Star. Yeah. And yeah. then when the First Order comes, they just take it and, like, why to leave the crystals there already on the planet? Just make the planet a weapon. Yeah. And after all, it blows up on the sequels, but. Uh, but we are on the time frame where it's between Empire and First Order, so... Yeah, it could be the planet. Yeah, it could be the planet, and which would uh, th- uh, maybe maybe show the wise their ship wrecked, which I believe is the Razor Crest. The behind on the trailer is wrecked, because there might be some Imperial base there. So they got shot down or something, or maybe it's continuing to the scene where they fall out of the sky on the <laughs> asteroid form. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? It's uh, it's it's so cool to see that we have new planets coming up and like so much more. There's like totally like it's like Imperial base vibes. Yeah, on the stormtrooper running scene, and it's like they're gonna be like star destroyer maybe, 
And that will be cool, like Empire still wrecked, but they still like cells of Imperial troops and like Star Destroyers and stuff. Yeah, maybe it's also like that. Uh, maybe they try to do something there after the Return of the Jedi. Yeah, totally. It's not like Empire just <laughs> disappears. So yeah, but I think we have to now go go to talk about the elephant of the room, which is. Uh, ev- yeah, especially um, wrestling fans, uh, I think are the most excited about. Yeah, which is Sasha Banks that we saw in the trailer, of course. So who was on the docks? The the girl with the cloak on, and um, so she's Sasha Banks, who is a WWE wrestler. And um, yeah, I am not sure who she's gonna be. People talk a lot. They they say that she might be um, Sabine Wren or even Ahsoka. It's I just cannot see, especially Ahsoka. Maybe maybe Sabine. Maybe. Yeah, we don't have much about Sasha as a anything. We, you, we, well, we can tell for the wrestling sake she can act decently, and if she's playing Sabine, I believe she's gonna get dubbed. Yes, most likely. Yeah, by the rebel voice actor, which I will I will found it kind of weird not to have it dubbed. Yeah, for the right voice, and then have the same character sound completely different. And also, I, I will, I will still find it weird, not as weird, having heard already Sasha's normal voice uh, on wrestling side, and <laughs> yeah, then you being know. dubbed. It, it will, it will, it will just be uh, really confusing first. Uh, but if she's using her own voice as other character than Sabine, then oh yeah. Why not? She can do her own stunts. That's that's what we know. <laughs> For sure she can do her own stunts, but yeah, we don't have much proof to say that these rumors are true. We only see her in, in a cloak for a couple of seconds after all, and um, they also talked about Jedi. So my first reaction was that she's going to act some type of Jedi or something like that. But thinking about it, she also could be Sabine. Because Sabine is kind of, for the Mandalorians and Jedi, she's kind of there in the middle to to bring them together, I think. Or she could be a good person to to get help Mandalorian to find Jedis. Yeah, at least advance the story on the sake of that she knows stuff about Jedis and this Mandalorian. So. Yeah, so like from already existing characters from like cartoons... I think Sabine is the best best character to be in Mandalorian. Even better than Boba Fett or Ahsoka or Ezra or anyone, I think. Yeah, there's a lot Sabine of theories the going around. The Ahsoka yeah. thing, I don't know. I believe we should not touch it. It's pretty pretty hot topic right here. Yeah, it is. And I don't know. I don't know even, like, it's just something that... I just don't see the reason why she will be here. Maybe, well, it's a Dave Filoni series, yeah. so yeah, the only reason her yeah. for pop up and she's a surviving Jedi, so why not? So, uh, but if I I don't want Mando to find Jedi for Baby Yoda yet in this season. Yeah, like straight up, I believe it's good that the. Uh, it's like search. This whole season is about searching. And on the final episode, yeah, there is the Jedi we are looking for. Like in the episode seven, they find the map to Luke Skywalker and then they're like, huh. And that's yeah. that's the season, basically. Yeah, man. I, if we are going to ever see Ahsoka in Mandalorian, I don't think it should be season two yet. I think they should yeah, I believe. build it for longer and maybe season three. Maybe, and then they are going to have season four to be like the where they are together with Ahsoka and uh, then conclude it with that. Yeah, but there's also, talking about Ahsoka, there's the casting of uh, Katie Sackhoff, who's uh, the voice actor of bo on uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars and Rebels. Yeah. And they, I think that's confirmed that she will play bo which... She's a Mandalorian leader at the point of some something, but she's the sec- second hand on Death Watch, and then she goes having the dark saber. 
which fits the story pretty well. Yeah. So uh, if if Ashoka has anything to do with the second season, that might be uh, Sabine bringing Mando to Bogatan to have a Bogatan tell us stories about season seasons of Mandalore and having a flashback scenes. I gotta say, I just wonder, do Bogatan already know Mando or other way around? Uh, because no, I don't, I, Mando I, was saved by. Yeah, yeah, I believe he was saved by Death Watch, but not probably because Mando at, at that point was a kid still. Yeah. So, like, it will be kind of. I find it kind of dumb if it will be like, oh, yeah, I remember. So, you. so uh, Katie, Katie is gonna. It's confirmed that she's gonna be in this series. Yeah, I believe so. Because first, first I like when watching the season one and we saw the dark saber. I thought that she's she's dead for sure, but I don't I don't guess guess not. Yeah, because I what I remember from Rebels is that the dark saber left was left on the hands of Bo Katan to yeah. uh, reunite Mandalore or something. Yeah, but if by, if by Sabine, which will have a story point for Mandalorian also. Yeah. And I believe we're gonna have a totally mo- more Mandalorians on this season than the previous one. At least we're gonna search for Mandalorians. They might be searching for the baby Yoda or the child. There might be a this case. And also talking about the bounty hunters or somebody coming for baby Yoda. The casting of the Temura Morrison, who played the Jango Fett in Attack of the Clones. Yeah, this is the one of the most interesting parts of all these rumors and, and confirmations altogether. Yeah, so there's only chances he might play Boba or a clone trooper, which the clones who still are alive should be basically dead at the point or totally out, out of out of years i don't know is that a term to use but they should be really really old yeah i'm not against boba fett and of course i am hyped and uh and uh, i can wait to see more of boba fett but i just don't see what is his role gonna be in this storyline yeah there's a lot of confusing storylines going on with uh yeah sabine being with ahsoka and then we have a confirmation of bo Katan being on the series and then we might have a Bo Buffett on the series and like it's just do we have a hell of a lot of flashback scenes yeah like how how are you gonna connect all of those that's the biggest question yeah it's like something has to be dropped out of this like dream list of fans or gonna be pushed on season three yeah or at least spread to further seasons not put everything in in this second season it's just gonna be too much yeah totally I think the first first person that should be dropped out is Ahsoka. This is just my personal opinion. Um, yeah. I think she should be, if ever, in Mandalorian, she should be much later on. Boba, I don't know, we already have a main villain in Mandalorian, so even him, I don't know, maybe just saw him a little bit and gave him a bigger role in in Season 3. Have Moff Gideon like killed or something? Yeah, it would be if Moff Gideon dies on this season. But the best person I think from already existing characters from outside Mandalorian, I think Sabine is the best option to put to this season and Bo Katan. Yeah, bringing Sabine first or bringing Bo Katan first is t- they like they have the same connection to Force users basically. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe if Bo Katan is not dead, maybe Mando goes to her first. Then she helps Mando to find Sabine, and he finds Sabine at the end of the season or something. Yeah. Or if Bogatan is dead already, then it's a different story. Yeah. But anyways, I think from watching the, the title names or the rumor title names, the return maybe could be then like at the end. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I think we should go also through with those rumored episode names. Yeah. Yeah, there was a leak on, I, I believe it's April or May of this year, which was like, yeah, these are the totally confirmed, like from a highly reliable source, which I still think if if it's true, I will believe that Disney will have time to at least rename some of the episodes. Yeah. Or maybe just go with them. Yeah, who knows? But I think... I think even even if these are the names that they at the start put for this and are actually real, not just the rumors, 
they probably have already changed these at least some of them yeah if there's if those might be the working titles yeah. for the episodes and uh if you don't mind i go through with those so there would be a the, uh, chapter one which would be the episode one would be called the search the chapter two would be called uh, the confrontation a third one would be called the bounty fourth one would be the wrap up Re- republic Fifth one will be the loyalist. Uh, sixth one will be the sorcerer. Seventh one will be the return. And the final episode, the eighth episode, which is confirmed that there's gonna be eight episodes of variating lanes, uh, is the eighth episode is called the Empire. So those will totally could be a working names. Yeah, but the best thing about working names is that they already kind of le- not leaks, but kind of tells what's going on in that episode or what might go on in that episode so getting of these i don't know the bounty if they're gonna have any type of easter egg for boba again it's gonna be there the bounty or to return or the empire it would be yeah it will be on the last episode or the fourth episode or the episode seven the return yeah totally or the seventh yeah totally he could take he could take baby yoda and then they would have to fight the empire yeah which i think from the trailer the parts where they had like stormtroopers yeah. and all those the, the mountains that planet yeah that's the only teaser which i love the trailer is usually disney star wars trailers have been like yeah we showed that <laughs> basically we showed the star killer base explode on the trailer yeah <laughs> this was the perfect type of trailer it showed where we are going or where do we start but it didn't spoil anything in the trailer which of course will never be the case yeah so so i like i like this trailer and um i don't know man i don't know yeah and i yeah do you have something yeah go on yeah, go yeah on. okay um, I'm just like about to, to say about uh, what we thought. We had a previous, uh, uh, like we had a concussion. Concussion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had a, you, concussion. We probably did. We had a conversation. We had a conversation about the uh, chapter names and possible story arcs. Because Favreau has said uh, on Twitter, I believe that the whole season is not more like one episode stories. Like episode four on for the forest episode on the first season yeah uh, by bruce Ellis howard and uh, like those type of episodes that there would be more story arcs like more like filoni clone war style which i i think that's a great idea we would have we had a conversation about uh, having the first three episodes having a one arc search confrontation and bounty being a one arc and then having another three episode arc uh, with the working titles I believe there are working titles Republic Loyalist and the Sorcerer and then having the finale as a two episode arc The Return and The Empire which would fit pretty well what we have talked about yeah um I just thought that what if in the Republic Mando meet somebody from the Republic or even meet Sabine the, yeah that could be the bo episode where yeah, she okay. tells the story of uh, Clone Wars and Siege of Mandalore. Yeah, that makes more sense. That would that would fit. Or then it's the episode about the New Republic, which we see on this trailer of the X Wings chasing the Razor Crest, and that would be the the New Republic. Yeah, that's that was the first thing that I thought that uh, he meets somebody from the Republic, from the New Republic. Yeah, and um, then somebody there helps him try to find a Jedi. And then the sorcerer might be a Jedi or might be... Yeah, which yeah, which I went... The, the, that might not be the New Rep- the Republic. might not be referencing uh, New Republic. It might reference to the Clone Wars uh, Republic with the, being with the three-episode story arc of the Loyalist and Sorcerer. So it may, it may just like yeah. bo giving a lead of... Yeah, I know this Mandalorian who's friend with Jedi and I'm a friend of Jedi. So... So... I have a question for you then. Yeah. Who you think is going to return in the chapter 7 to return? If there is somebody going to return in, in that episode. Somebody is going to return. It's kind of working title. It's like there's so many chances. I had a thought about bringing back like lost characters from Filoni's side. So like Clone Wars characters or something, but I still feel it's a Boba on the return. Okay, yeah. But but also the title return sounds like heroic. So I had uh, this thought about uh, bringing back Rebels characters. So Tron and uh, Ezra 
which would be a huge having a throne yeah. on the Empire, which would also support the Empire title more. Which would be really why like really 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 cool, but that would be uh, the only casting I would have for Tron is Benedict Cumberbatch. That would be really interesting. That would be really really interesting. Yeah, he's <laughs> already con on uh, Star Trek and <laughs> yeah, uh, acts that uh, that we learn well and uh, Doctor Strange on the Marvel side. So uh, this only cast I can see as Tron, but bringing so many. Uh, already known characters to Mandalorian which is like its own thing is on the one season it's just like huh. yeah it's too much to take in totally all not. at once yeah it's too much to take on or it might be Disney strategy to just to like <laughs> here's all and cliffhanger for the next season and then they're gonna be like no it's gonna come out 2023 and we're gonna have a Kenobi series here in the middle yeah uh-huh. and you're really gonna want for it that might be the case you have great options there at the start I thought that the return could refer to Sabine but if Sasha Banks is gonna act Sabine yeah if that is gonna be the case and they saw her in the trailer then I think she must have much bigger role in the season that I thought. We would prefer that she probably will appear sooner than the second last episode. So it might be then maybe Boba or or even... Heck, I don't know, even like Ahsoka or something. Like, who knows what they're thinking. Yeah, but I believe it's gonna be a heelish return, some bad guy. Or might be good and bad guy returning. Yeah. But I think if you have some other things to s- still come, I'm out of notes. But if you have some notes, then... Uh, well, I have only one. And uh, my last note was simply just, I-, I just want to see more Mandalorians more than anything else. Like whatever it's going to happen, whatever's going to happen in this season, in the second season, I just want to see more Mandalorians. Yeah. And uh, I'm-, I'm good with that. And if, if the... If the- uh, and if we're gonna see some and totally I believe we're gonna see some saber fighting because the uh, talks about Moff Gideon's actor saying that he has broken tens and tens of dark saber yeah uh, copies like replicas on the set while fighting is just it's just so cool and yeah like they they got to have some Jedi or something yeah yeah, like I don't, I don't think he's gonna fight with saber against a gun. So <laughs> that's gonna be super interesting. Yeah. And if they're gonna have light saber, who's gonna hell it? How many Jedi's we even have? So we we can get to it. Yeah. A lot of questions. Uh, but that that's pretty much everything we got for this episode. Yeah. If you're watching from YouTube, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from us. Can't wait for the Mandalorian season two hit. But until then, and until our next episode, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye.